Drinking buddies. I got my good buddy Dwayne Taylor here. Follow him on TikTok, also known as the Bourbon, Bourbon Watchman. Watchman. Yep. Um, and uh, we're really excited to do this flight uh, sent to me by Brooks. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> so this flight, this flight he called the random flight. Um, and it is unicorn uh, to shelf. So there's at least one unicorn in here. There's at least one shelfer in here. Uh, four samples. We're gonna do the standard scoring system. Okay. One point for proof, one point for type, one point for is it finished, and one point for uh, distillery. So it. total is 16 points. You can get a bonus point if you can snipe a bottle guess. Oh. That does not happen often. I wouldn't think so, but it's worth a try, right? Yeah, for sure. So this is A? This is A. All right, here we go. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button. I never remember to say this. Hit the like. <laughs> this one's got some age on it, I think. You definitely get the oak on this one. Yeah, for sure. It's kind of um, like old shoes, leather books. Yeah. Like oh, on this one, I'm getting I'm getting a lot of oak. I am getting the caramel in the back. Mm-hmm. And uh, to me, I'm almost ready to taste it, but I can almost. I almost think that this is a Sazerac product. Could be. Mm. Okay, it's a little bit up on the proof. It's over 100, definitely. It's a higher proof for sure. Yeah. I, uh, um, I had one thing in mind okay. on the nose, and it completely changed on the palate. Yes, uh, so. <laughs> On the palate, it's t it, or on the nose, it smelled like a really old, really complex bourbon. Yeah. And now I'm not sure what it is. I'm still chewing on the finish though. So mm -hmm. it's, got, it's got a good finish, good long time to it. It's a little herbal. It's a little bit um, uh, spicy as well. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not going with a rye though. I'm still thinking we got a bourbon going on here. I have a I have a guess for this one. I have a guess for this one. So you're already putting a, a total guess. Of yeah, I'm, I'm totally. I'm going for a full guess here. Yeah. So <clears throat> do one more on this one. So we're on to B now. Yeah. He called it random. I wonder if that was to throw it off, throw us off, because <clears throat> this has a similar nose. <sighs> what do you think the black lens? Just picked him up. Off Amazon. I like this. It's just kind of hard to tell when you, if you want How to much just, you pour? You pour and then your consistency, whether what your yeah. leg is like and, uh, you know, on your heavy proofers and your, you know, your single bar barrel proofs, you get that, you can see that mahogany and that darker, darker colored, you know, tone to it. Which kind of helps me if it's a blind that's yeah. been set up by like me or my wife and it's these. Yeah. But if it's something sent by fans, I think color should be something I can look at. I know in my terms, the darker the color, it's either uh, more more oaked and or aged or finished or finished and or higher proof. So. And uh, also could potentially be like desert. So like here, yeah, two too. stuff aged in Arizona and Texas and New Nevada, Nevada, for example, yeah, yeah. they are dark in color. It's like bad. especially if we're talking about garrisons. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Okay, so this is a lower proof than that, in my opinion. Hmm. I, I actually disagree. Do you? Yeah. Wow. So much fun, everybody. I, I love doing these, especially when I can have a guest on. Yeah. I, I'm hyper competitive, so yeah. it's also <laughs> good to... Uh, yeah, well, well, we'll see where we're at. Stroke my ego a little yeah, bit when I win. I mean, this guy's doing it every day. You're just looking at uh, some young weenie right here that has... <laughs> this is my first time, most my first radio. I'm not getting much of it. Yeah, this is this is more like oak and ethanol is yeah. really all I'm getting here. Yeah, that's all I'm getting. They sat in the glasses for a little bit too. They had a they had a bit to open up. Yeah. I'm gonna swirl and spin a little bit. I'm still ain't getting okay. I got a little bit of caramel after I swirled. There you go. I'm still getting Ooh, that. like a caramel apple. Are Dang. You? I'm not getting that. I'm still just getting, I'm just getting. This is Halloween, dude. It's caramel apple. 
still getting a tinge on this. It's hot though. It smells hot. Do you think? Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. What the heck is that? This is an MPG. Or an M. Not an um, MPG. Uh, <laughs> MGP? MGP. Yeah. I don't know. You might be right. Uh, I actually think I might have a bottle guess for this one. You think? Um, but yeah, it's got a lot, it's got a lot of uh, leather shoes, a lot of tobacco, like a cigar box type thing for me. Okay. Well, on this one right here, I'm still going with the mid Midwest green on it, and I'm almost betting on this. I'm going to put this out there. I'm going to say this is almost a Remus. Okay. Number four. Number four. Cheers, Cheers again, bud. Cheers. Ooh. <laughs> now, this is the fruitiest one so far. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, that was... Dark berries. I'm getting, I'm getting fruit. I'm definitely getting fruit. Oak as well. <sighs> yeah. Okay. This one, and almost say that it's a maker's. Ooh. <clears throat> like a private selection. Something in that realm. I'm not thinking that we're doing a cellar age on that, but I'm, I'm getting, even on the private select, because you can go so far different on both ways with the spice, the floral, yeah. uh, you know. Um, I'm almost thinking that this is, we're not going to say it's a baseline. Um, Out of the four, I would say this one doesn't feel as special as the other three to me. I, I mean, maybe that's just my initial opinion, but. Yeah. That could change because on my second on my second go through, I, I liked it a little bit more. Now I'm getting a little bit more more um, medicinal cherry on that guy. So this one on, hmm. when I went in didn't really last long on the pound. So I mean, and then the finish wasn't very long either. Not really on this one. I could really chew on it and get a lot a lot longer out of it. All right. So for the first one. I have, I have bourbon. I have 110 proof. I have a four roses. I have not finished, and I have four roses single barrel barrel strength for my guests. Okay, me, like I said, I'm thinking that's a Buffalo Trace product. I'm saying it's a 107, so I'm saying it's a, above 100, but I will say 102. I'm saying it's a lower. Okay. All right. Let's see. So the first one is, wow, Smoke Wagon Rare and Limited Batch One, eight years, 118.9. So um, we're both off the wagon on that yeah, one. Right? Yeah, I don't. I, it's bourbon. Um, okay. I do not get anything else, though. Oh, it's not finished. So, oh. yeah, you got... Uh, I got Weller, it? 107. So you'd get one point for not finished on that guy. Okay. All right. So for the second one, I went with bourbon, 120 proof brown foreman. I said not finished, and I think it's a Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof. Just my guess. Really? Okay, so on this one, I'm going a lower proof, so I'm saying it's 100 or below. I'm saying it's in the Russell's realm, so wild turkey, anything wild turkey. Uh, like I said, 100 proof, and you know, we're still talking bourbon. I had not, not finished. Not finished. None yeah. of this. You know, none of this. C is finished. Yeah. I, I, have a, I, I haven't looked yet ahead at C, but I think I'm right on C. Okay. okay, so this one is Smoke Wagon Private Barrel, 114 proof. I missed the proof by one point. Um, and brown, and it is uh, um, MGP. So all of these are going to be wow. Okay, I looked ahead, but we won't spoil that. Okay. Uh, so it is bourbon. Okay. Um, I went with a lower proof under 100, and I thought this. One, I did not this get one, proof. This one drank. This one drank milder than, than A. So you got you have we're tied. We're at, we each have four points because we both have bourbon and we both have not finished. Yeah. The third one uh, for the third one I have Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. It was my guess. And I'm going Remus with an MGP at 105. We we it's definitely MGP. Um, it, I I said bourbon 115 MGP and I did say finished. So you might pass me on this one because I said finished and it is not finished. Uh, we're uh, you missed proof though, so we're gonna end up. We'll end up tying out on this one. Okay. Uh, we both got MGP. We both got bourbon. We both got three points on this one. Okay. So what was it? 
It was a smoke wagon uncut, unfiltered at 112 proof. Yeah, we're still we're, we're still in Nevada. Why can't yeah. we leave Nevada? We're still in Nevada. Yeah. All right. Well, I have nothing against smoke wagon. I actually have the younger. I have the small batch, and I have the regular, and I also have the uncut, unfiltered. Yeah. You know what's really fun about this is um, none of these really stood out to me as being like amazing, and this is kind of ringing true because they're all good. Yeah, like they're all good. Yeah, so good. that, it's funny to me, this one gave me such a cigar note on three, I literally was convinced this was Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. I thought for sure we were going to rip out this paper, and you guys are going to be like, this guy's a cheater. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was so yeah. wrong, as you Until the last one changes right now, all of them have yep. been MGPs. And so this one, I said bourbon, I said 105 proof, I said Russell's, I said not finished, and I said Kentucky Spirit for my guess. Okay. And you said and MGP for this one? No, this one I'm saying... I was actually in the maker's realm, so I'm thinking this was a maker's. It was one, a hundred or up, so that's given me uh, 100 to 105, and we're still talking bourbon and non finished. Okay, so we're both going to get bourbon, we're both going to get proof, and we're both going to get not finished. It is smoke wagon, small batch, 100 proof. So he gave us a whole smoke wagon, a whole smoke uh, wagon flight. Part. And it's funny, now that I'm thinking about it, I think that smoke wagon, rare and limited, batch one is a ridiculously special bottle. So, so we're, are, we, regardless, it was smoke wagon across the board, and out of all of them, this is the one that I really favored the nose on. Too. We tied too, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. That's uh, awesome. Uh, yeah, we did. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We both had 10 out of 16. Yep. We're getting C pluses today, drinking buddies. <laughs> yeah, all right. What does that mean? <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all of you. Every time you guys like and subscribe, you make this thing possible. And uh, uh, thank you so much for Dwayne for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Really yeah, no, this it. was awesome. If you happen to be traveling through TikTok, find me on TikTok, Dwayne Taylor. Uh, I don't really do a lot of blinds. Every once in a while, I'll crack a bottle and I'll give you my opinion on it. I'm more of the kind of guy, if it's a good bourbon, you're, you're going to hear it's a good bourbon. Yep. Okay, if you get those basic good bourbon notes, that's what I'm looking for. I'm more aesthetic where what you're going to see is you're going to see... Uh, you're going to see, I'm kind of into my glass line. I'm kind of into just showing you some good music and a good bottle. That's what you see out of mine. Cheers, drinking buddies. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers. I'm your drinking buddy.